Hello, in this video we're going to derive the inverse gamma distribution and then we're going to calculate the mean and variance for it. First, the, the derivation. We assume that x is a gamma distribution. This x is a random variable distributed as a gamma distribution. And the density is written like this. Now notice that the beta is in the denominator. Some uh, some people put the beta in the numerator, and, and that's fine also. But if we let y equal 1 over x, then y is distributed as an inverse gamma with parameters alpha and beta. And so let's derive that. So if we back solve for x, we get x is equal to you know, 1 over y. And then the derivative of x with respect to y is minus y raised to the minus half, or minus 1 over y squared. So then the density of y <coughs> becomes this. You use the density of f, but plug in what you back solved for here, and then it's times the, the Jacobian, the absolute value of the Jacobian, so it's just uh, 1 over y squared. So we plug this in for the density here and here. So that's what this is, and this is a y to the minus 1. This is the Jacobian, and then when you combine the y's, you get this, and that's just minus 1 over beta y, and this is it. That's the, the density for an inverse gamma. Now let's calculate the mean and the variance. So the mean of y is you plug in y times the density, which is, you know, this, of course, integrated over uh, its range of 0 to infinity. Then what we do is we take this y into this one. Okay? And so that's what this is. Notice that it's a minus alpha and the minus 1 is there and then this plus 1 is the minus goes into the minus 1 that's a plus 1. But we group it like this because then then it kind of looks like this, where the new alpha is alpha minus 1. But then we need the appropriate numbers out front. The, so if we multiply and divide by the same constant, we do that because then this becomes an inverse gamma distribution again with parameter you know, alpha minus 1 and beta. <clears throat> So this integrates to 1, and we're left with this out front. Now, gamma of alpha is alpha minus 1 times gamma of alpha minus 1. And you can separate the beta to the alpha minus 1 into this. So we get some cancelizations, and we get 1 over alpha minus 1 times beta. And that's the mean. Now to calculate the variance, let's calculate the second moment first, and then we'll calculate the variance. And it's very similar to what we do with the mean, where we just stick in a y squared times the density. And then what we do is we work that y into this. That's where the 2 comes from. And then we multiply and divide by the same constant to make this look like another inverse gamma distribution with parameters alpha minus 2 and beta. So then this integrates to 1, leaving this. And then notice this is alpha minus 1 times alpha minus 2 times gamma of alpha minus 2 and so we get a cancelization there and the beta alpha cancels and we're left with this well now we have enough information to calculate the variance the variance is expected value of y squared minus the mean squared so we stick in the values that we just calculated and the mean was 1 over this, but we're squaring it, so you have to square both. Now let's get a like denominator. So we need to multiply this side times alpha minus 1, and this side times alpha minus 2. And then the alphas cancel, and we're left with a plus 2 and a minus 1, which is 1, over this. And that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.